Police, open this door. Open the door. Sir, suspect's not here. Nelly, thank you for getting me here. I'm obliged. I've settled into Lagos and I'm overjoyed. <laughs> thank you. I sure do owe you one. Not a word to Mama about my new whereabouts. I'll tell you when I want you to let yeah. her know. Thank you. Yes. Have a nice day. Sunday rice. Yeah. Sunday rice. Sunday rice. Sunday rice. Sunday rice. Sunday rice. <laughs> what do you mean it's not Sunday rice? No, Sunday really? rice is, is like, why don't let's turn the tables? Let's turn the tables around. I should, I should do the cooking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi, excuse turn me. Turn the tables around. Please, can, I need help, please. Can you help me? I don't know what's wrong with my car and I'm running late for an appointment. Please, can you help me? Uh, Okay, I don't know if I can help, but I'll, I'll try. Thank you. I'll never forget this in a hurry. Thank That's, you. That's fine. Thank you. It's just a kiss, a Kickstarter. Oh, this is amazing. You're, Thank you're you. You're to go, so. Mm, thank you. Um. Thank you. Okay, I just stick this here. Oh. There you go. Thank you so much. No, 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 you're, you're welcome. <laughs> it's fine. Are you new in the neighborhood? Yes, I uh, just moved in. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's uh, my lovely wife. Oh, it works. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, I don't know how to thank you guys. Thank you so much. Words fill me. No, yeah, okay. that's fine. It's fine. I'm glad it works, right? I'm Zane. Zane, Zane owner. Nice to meet you, Zane. Zane my name yeah. is 
Mrs. Betsy oh. Salami. Mm. Yeah, mm. and I'm Mr. Salami, John Salami. <laughs> it's so wonderful to see two of you together as a couple, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I love love and how it looks between the two of you, you know? <laughs> Hello. Yes. Thank you. So, uh, we'll see you around. All, All right. right. Do enjoy the rest so of your much. day, Thank okay? Thank you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Baby, mm. you're a superhero in every aspect. I know, right? Like <laughs> I try to try. Isn't that why you married me? Okay, it's time to go and show them who the best cook in the world is. <laughs> Stop it! They always lie to me. Flatter me too much. Well, it's true. I need to show them, right? Mm, okay, I'll be me. I'll be me. Good. Best of the world. Hey, Stop! You make my head smell <laughs> so much. Stop! Come on! Okay, so... Okay. What do we have here? Breakfast making. Oopsie! There All you right. go. Thank you. It's special. This one is special. <laughs> That's what you get when you buy big shots. Right, you're too proud. At this point, I'm bragging. I'm bragging, baby. Taste it now. You're bragging too much. Come on, taste it, baby. Don't lie to me. Don't, don't, don't lie to me. Don't, mm, don't, don't, don't lie to me, baby. Don't do that. Okay. Need to know. Don't. I know you. Don't. You need to stop. Very good. But this time it's with the mechanic. But the worst thing is that I can't seem to find a taxi here. Um, the truth is, yeah, we are not a lot of taxis on this road. Um, you know what? How, how can I just. Uh, oh no, never mind, sir, no. No, 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 I insist. I'll at least take you to where to get a taxi. Come on. Okay. So, are you up to work or something? I have an appointment again, uh, so... Uh -huh. What do you do? I'm a writer, preferably a ghost writer. Hmm. 
So, why would anybody want to be a ghost rider? Because I don't want uh, the spotlight of fame that comes with it close to me. I'm more of an introvert. An introvert? Yeah, you know, in time past, my friends used to say I'm like an onion. The more you peel, the more you get to see new depth. That's quite interesting. <laughs> you know, you have a perfect family. It's every woman's dream to be married to a man who makes them feel secure. Uh, I'm not going to say my family is perfect. I mean, we're trying our best. We're trying our best. We use our imperfections to try to create a perfect family. You see, that makes it even more interesting. Your wife is really lucky to have you. Nah, I wouldn't say that she's lucky to have me. I mean, I'm also lucky to have her. Simply put, we're both lucky to have each other. Well, well, I'm glad to have a new neighbor and two good friends to, to look up to, you know. And uh, that's a uh, bye-bye to boredom for me. Boredom? Why would they beautiful them so like you be bored? It's every woman's dream to love and be loved and not to wake up every morning to emptiness and the stress of loneliness that it brings. Um, that's a subject for another day, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want you to be late now. <laughs> mm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so my husband says you're a ghost writer. How is that going? It's quite challenging, but trust me, I love challenges. Although I have a master's degree from a completely different field. Oh, that's interesting. What area did you specialize in? Medical biochemistry and molecular medicine. No way. She's a brainy. <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot, huh? That's definitely nice, not my nice, line. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> I'm saying you're, you're very welcome. You're welcome to our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. You're most welcome to our family. My family and I <laughs> want to welcome you especially. Our doors are open anytime. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's a bundle of joy you have in there. Isn't it? Yes. It's a great bundle of joy that we have in here. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for both of you. Thank you. This is the best news ever. <laughs> you both deserve the best, you know. <laughs> the first. We do. Yes, we do. God, baby. She's such a free spirit human. Absolutely, she is. You know, I am... Uh, mm, can actually do a lot with your friendship. Hmm. Yes. You like friends. You <laughs> like, you no, like she's friends. amazing. Stop. <laughs> I don't even know what to do now. Maybe I should just give it to a dispatch rider. Why are you sounding like this now? Oh no, it's going to take a lot of time. 
Hey, wait a minute. I, I see. I see our neighbor. Okay, is, uh, is he coming home anytime soon? Hmm. We meet again. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to ask. Are you going home anytime soon? Oh, of course. Um, um, sure. Is, is, is there anything you want? Are um, you going my way? I see. So okay. I, I think I'll just give it to. I'll give it to her. She's coming home. Yeah. No, I'm not going home. Actually, um, I need to give um, this to my wife. She's having a bit of uh, having signs of uh, asthma attack. So it's just a inhaler and some fruits. Oh, sure. Anything for you guys, anything. Yeah. Um, of course, I'll give it to her. Yeah, Thank I'll you. give it to her. Anything for you guys, okay? You've been such a wonderful neighbor and a friend. I really oh. appreciate this. You guys have been more, okay, if I may say. I yeah. have a meeting right now. I have to run. Okay, so sorry. Sure. All right. Okay. Thank Bye. you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Apples. Okay, let me rinse it. I'll be back. Please sit. I'll be back. Thank you. So thoughtful. This is my property, my house my man and my abode. I am going to take my rightful position. And when I do so, <laughs> no one is going to stop me. You don't know what's coming your way, Betty. I shall take your place. And like dirt, he will toss you aside. I was just admiring your beautiful wedding portrait. Oh, yes. it must really be nice to be the wife of Mr. Jun Salami. Well, what can I say? It feels good, you know. Mm. Truth is, Jun is not just my husband; mm. he's actually my best friend. Like we're made for each other, my soulmate. Mm. I couldn't have gotten married to any other person. Sorry. Hmm. I really wish to have such intense love one day. <laughs> of course you will. Don't don't give up. You will. Love is love is here. Don't worry. You'll be fine. I believe. Okay. Um. Have some. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like apples. Are you for real? Who doesn't love apples? <laughs> come on. Come listen. Oh no. I have to go. Mm? Mm. But are you okay? Of course. I'm great. With your bundle of joy there. We're both doing good. Mm. We're all good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for this, actually. Oh, no, my pleasure. Do you really want to sit? Oh, no. All right, let me I'll see, see you around. Okay. Yes, so let me walk into the door. Come on.
what have you been able to dig? I've got a lot. And most importantly, you would like this one. You know how I love to be impressed. Just do your job and you'll be paid well. Right on, Kim. Why are so many new pictures of you circulating on the internet? Oh my God, we're supposed to do this. Lord. Wait, were you a stripper before? I don't know. This is not me. I, I... What do you mean you don't know? This is your account. Listen, no, that's that's not me. That's not me. I'm not the one posting that. My, my phone. I'm telling you, so I, I didn't post those things. Someone has hacked me. Someone hacked me. Oh, you want to use that card now? I, do you have a multiple personality disorder that I don't know about? Please. Why is it hard for you to believe me? I didn't post those things. My account has been hacked. That's what this means. Let's say your account was hacked, all right. How did they get access to those pictures? Why are you taking those sort of pictures anyway? Who did you send your nude pictures to? Who? Do not babes me right now. I'm asking you questions. How do they have your pictures? Do you know how embarrassing this is? Do you have any idea how embarrassing is this is? People are not talking about my wife anyhow. Describing you with derogatory words. You think I like this? You think I'm enjoying this? How is this even my fault? Don't. How do they have your pictures? How do they have your pictures? Is it your ex? Do you by any way have an extramarital affair that I don't know about? I am still talking to you. Do not walk out on me. I am asking you valid questions that I need valid answers to. Just, I will not stand here. I will stand here and allow you accuse me of something I know nothing about. I've told you. Can't you understand? Anybody can do this. Someone hacked me. I don't know how they got my pictures. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know how they got my account. Why is it so hard for you to believe me? To lie your way out of this. Is that it? Call me a liar. Excuse me. Betty, I'm still talking to you. Betty! Betty! You need to take a chill pill, really. This is not the end of the world. Take a chill pill over what, Ife? How am I supposed to take this lightly? How am I supposed to calm down? Maybe you don't understand the gravity of what I'm talking about here. Do you know how embarrassing this thing was? Do you? I had to pay a lot of money for them to take it down. I inquired from them, how did the pictures get there? How did they get the pictures? No answers. 
they are saying the account they got the pictures from is an Instagram account that's already deactivated. Does that even make any sense? Does that make any sense? I'm telling you what, the only sense that this makes right now is the fact that Betty is still in touch with her ex. No, I no, mean, no. he's the only one that she would have sent this uh, kind of pictures uh, to. No, 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 no. Uh, bro, I don't think that is, that is true. Uh, think about it. Maybe your wife is right. Maybe Betty is right. You, you might be overthinking this, this, this whole situation. No, no, I don't think so. If, I, if my wife was right, she wouldn't be so defensive. I know Betty like the palm of my hand. She will never defend when she's right. It's just my wife. I, I know her. So, so uh, I, I, are you insinuating that Betty is having extramarital affairs behind you? Come on, man. I don't even know what to think anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, please calm down. If there is anything I am sure of, if there is anything I am absolutely certain of, is the fact that Betty will not do anything that will not make you proud. I'm serious. So you need to calm down. Tristis, I really need someone to talk to. Oh, really? I'll be home soon. What about your husband? We had a fight. He flipped and he drove out. Right? I hope it wasn't that serious. Mm -mm. I mean, I can't say. Someone hacked my account, posted some semi nude pictures. My husband is so upset. I don't know who do such a thing. Oh, that's so sad. The extent people would go. I know. He's not even picking my calls, you know? What's wrong, Jones? Don't you think you should stop drinking? Hey. You always show up whenever I need to talk. Hmm. How nice. Are you sure you shouldn't stop drinking? Stop drinking? No, 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 I can't stop. I need I need to I need to drink. I really need to drink so that I can forget all about Betsy. Did you did you see the pictures? Did you see the pictures? My wife's pictures all over the internet. Everywhere, everywhere. All the blogs, all the They posted it. Yeah, I really need to stop.
why I'm here. You know, when you called earlier, I couldn't come because I was caught up. Maybe you checked into a hotel. That's not my man. That's not my Jones. He would never ever sleep out. That's not him. I'm worried. <coughs> That's always the first time for anything. Just calm down. Oh, it's my fault. I was it should so be angry. back in the morning. No, this is my fault. I was so pissed off. I was so angry. I mean, I'm so angry because he was judging me without even listening to me. He just should know that I would never, ever cheat on him. Ever. Not in this life. Not in the next. I can't. I can't. I will die before I do. I have to go back now. Just try and catch some sleep, okay? Where are you now? Where are you? You're awake. What have you done? This was the best night I've had in such a long time. What have you done? Don't touch me. Yes. 
so good. I literally felt the stars coming down. What are you talking about? You took me through a journey of ecstasy. And my feet Don't did crazy. touch me! Listen, enough of what you're doing. Enough! Stop it! You need to stop right now. I'm a married man, okay? I'm a married man. You need to forget whatever happened last night. It was an accident. It, it, it wasn't meant to happen. I was drunk. I was intoxicated. You, you, you took advantage of me. I was also drunk and tipsy as well. And then you touched me. You told me you loved me. And that you've never felt like this before. Not even your wife. Biggest mistake of last night. It should never have happened, okay? It should never have happened. Like I said, I'm married. I'm married. We have no business even being friends. Is that understood? But I love your friendship. I don't love your friendship. I cannot be friends with you, okay? Thank you for the hospitality. Thank you for bringing me home last night. Thank you for taking care of me. We are done. But this never happened. This get up, get up me. I don't know what happened. It might be stress because we did a thorough search. And trust me, there is nothing. We found nothing in our system that suggests it could be from the food from the previous night or sort. Wow. This is going to be really tough on my wife. I mean, she's been really expectant. I don't know that she'll be able to take it. This is the time she really needs you. That's not just a husband, but a friend. <sighs> thank you. Thank you for... Thank you for everything. It's all right. You can come with me so that you can sign. Sure you're okay. Anyways, I came to tell you guys that I'll be away for some time. Oh, you're traveling? Uh, yes, I want to go see my mom and family. Oh, <laughs> nice. Say hi to my man, everybody. I will. I will. You know, like you're welcome. I mean, come back. We'll always be here when you're back. Okay? I know. I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I want you to never, never stop smiling, okay? Whatever it is that you're going through, never stop smiling, all right? You're such a great friend, thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. I needed to hear this so bad, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, 
Yes, you know. And evil. Mm. Zane. Oh, Zane. Yeah, she's been gone like it's almost five months. I've not heard from her. I'm worried. You know. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing she was probably getting too close to us. No, oh, come on. Don't be mean. How would you say that? Why? No, I, I just mean that we barely know her, right? Yeah, so it wouldn't be good to give so much access to a stranger now, would it? I like her, you know, and um, I enjoy her company too. Wow. A lot. I get <laughs> I it. Her. I get it. You're looking for a neighbor you can be chit chatting with, gossiping with. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you get it when you're outside and I'm not catching. <laughs> yes, so now you understand. Now you get me. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. I get it. Mm -hmm. Enough of the stranger neighbor. <laughs> um, babe, mm -hmm. I was wondering here. Yeah, it's been four months and we have been trying. I think we will need to see the doctor. Um, I don't know, but. I'm going to miss my period or anything like that. Hey. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Hey. It's okay. Hmm? No. Look at me. I really want to be I will be with you every step of the way. We will have as much kids as you want. Okay? What would I do without you, John? Nothing. Nothing. So much. Nothing. That don't mean you should keep my children. I'm not even going to let you do that. him before I left. Uh, 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 before you left? Of course. By some real man who is good and not just good. Mm. He's unarguably the best man. <laughs> hey, um, if it I'm still home, but I'm about leaving. Oh, shoot, I think I forgot it's in the bedroom. I'll just grab it. Oh, uh, uh, Zane, I didn't even know you had someone. I didn't know you were seeing anyone. You can't possibly know everything in a short time. <laughs> you get to know them layer by layer as time passes by. True. Isn't that how it happens? You're right, that's how it happens. We're going to have breakfast. Come, come join us. Oh, no. I'm fine. <laughs> you know, I'm back, and this time for the better. Mm -hmm. I'll be here for a long time. That's nice. As I carry my bundle of joy. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to make you feel sad. I'm, I'm good. I'm not okay. sad. <laughs> okay, I figured. You know. Yeah. Congrats. You're my friend. And I intend to do more for friendship's sake. Okay? Thank you. I'm seeing you around, though. Uh, you're not staying. Mm, no. Thank you. Bye. Come back. This can't be happening. No, no, no. She is pregnant for someone else. Right? Yeah, yeah. She can't possibly be pregnant for me. No, no, no. It, it can't be me. No.
I knew you would come soon enough, and here you are. You need to stay away from my wife and I. My wife is becoming quite uneasy with the way you constantly show up to our doorstep. What do you want from us? What? What is it? Did she tell you she doesn't want me around? Or you just made her up? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what she said. I don't owe you any explanation. Do you understand me? You must be joking if you think you can toss me aside after using me. Don't you get it? You are mine and I'm yours. This is the proof of that night of lovemaking that we had. The night stop, of passion. Stop, stop, stop it! You need to stop, okay? You need to stop it. I told you already that night was a mistake. A big mistake. I was intoxicated. It wasn't meant to happen, don't you get it? And I didn't stop you from functioning as a man. We made love. And this is the aftermath of that love making. Lies. Lies. You would do the necessary. Otherwise. Otherwise nothing. Nothing. You see, you better take that thing. You see this thing? Take it to whoever has it, because there's no way I'm accepting it. No way. There's more where this is coming from. So dear me, and I'll crush everything you owe so dear. I need you. Can't you see? I need you. You have to marry me. Stop it! You're sick. You're very sick. You hear me? You need help. You hear me? Stay away from my family. Stay away from my wife and I. Okay? Baby! Stay away from us! Baby, please don't go! Now, I want us to do this as soon as possible. I know, but why are we rushing? We're supposed to travel in by Christmas to Zanzibar. Why are we rushing? Honey? Yeah, I know, but I just feel like I've been working too much. Mm. I need a break. Mm. Let's just travel somewhere okay. before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Travel? Are you guys traveling and leaving me just like that? So who is going to be my son, God's parent? No way! Oh my God! You're having a boy! Yes, <laughs> he's a boy. Oh my goodness! I came to apologize to you, Betty. If I've been much of a bother. Mm. Your husband said I've been... Nah, no, not at all, baby. No, at all. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. Are you guys traveling soon? No, babe, come on. Not yet. Are you sure I'm not a bother? No, mm -mm -mm, not at all. At all. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. How are you? Oh, boy. Oh, and that reminds me. What is it? I just found out this catering program online. What? And I think it will enhance all your skills. I can see it online. Wait, mm -hmm. let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. I'm going for this one, definitely. Yeah. If I'm in a fix, I have no idea what to do. I don't, I don't know. 
So, all this happened and you never mentioned? It's not something that I'm proud of. Like, how would I be able to talk about this, this kind of thing? I was drunk. I was drunk. She took advantage of me. Of course, I, I tried to confront her and she said she was drunk as well. She didn't know what she was doing. I don't know if my wife gets a wind of this. I'm done for. Everything I've built, my, my life, my marriage is over. You have to tell her. I don't understand. Yes, you I, I, Have you been hearing all I've been saying? Loud and clear. And listen to me, Jones. The deed has been done. The best thing you can do right now is tell Betty. And risk losing everything? Jones, this woman we are talking about, Zeno, whatever she calls herself, has your sex videos. She is pregnant for you. Now, if you do not tell your wife, she will. And that will be disaster for you. So, just tell her and be done with it. I, I can't. I, I can't. Huh? I don't know. How do you expect me to bring myself to, to say this sort of thing to her? To Betty, how am I supposed to say it? Where would I start? I... Jones. Forget it. It's not happening. All right, fine. But when it happens, don't say I didn't tell you. I can't contain my excitement. I am Mrs. Jones Salami. It took me this long to finally arrive at my final bus stop. <laughs> and we're here to stay to eternity and a day. my daughter I have waited and waited for you to call me mom I'm here I've missed you I miss you too my dear but why do you always disappear and appear in my life every day why don't you think we should spend some time together eh? and why do you stay far from me no you are all all I have and I need to keep an eye on you. Mom, I am fine. That's not the reason I called you. The reason I called you is to tell you that 
I am married. The love of my life. For real? And, mom, we are expecting our baby. Oh, oh, you are joking. Mom, you know I will never joke about such a thing to you. Can't you see? I am heavily pregnant. Hey, I can see. Show me your husband. Yes, mom. Look. Why didn't you invite me for the wedding? And why is the wedding secret? Oh, mom, you know how it has been with me in the past. So this time I decided to keep it hush hush. Mm, I understand. I'm, I'm going to be a grandma. I can't keep calm. <laughs> yes, you are, Mom. Because I'm happy for you. I'm so happy. Uh, where do you stay? Hello? Why are we even traveling now? I told you, I'm missing this break. I really need this break. That's why we're traveling. I'm, I'm tired. I just have a bit of time, okay? I, know, I hope it's not that you're, you're running away from something or well, someone. I don't understand. Like, really and truly, I really don't get it. Like, why are we rushing? Why are we rushing? Are you running away from something, from someone? Why are we doing this right now? Now? Baby, how can you even insinuate that? How can you? I <laughs> you are even handsome and tall like this. <laughs> hey, my son in law. I didn't know. That means my grandchild will be tall too. <laughs> wrong <address. laughs> yeah, yeah, wrong address, man. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter showed me her wedding picture with her. But when I tried to find out where both of you live, she ended the call. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy I'm going to be a grandmother. Where is my daughter Angozi? Well, I'm sorry, Mom. What are you talking about? I mean, th this is my wife. This is the only wife I have. <laughs> you must be in the wrong place. My sorry, you're so, you so funny. But today is not first April. Why are you trying to do me April fool? Naked, you can do. Probably your sister, I'm sure. I have a lot to catch up about your family. <laughs> uh, this is, madam, what are, you, what are you talking about? Who are you looking for? If you, you have to leave here, else I'll call the security. Security! Yeah. Yeah. What is this? What, what kind of insult is this guy? Please, 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 please. Don't tell me the kind of man that allows his family to control him. Who are you? Him, so the South will not control both of us. What is it? I did not ask you to come, did I? What has that got to do with what I saw outside? You should have just waited until I asked you to come. But no, you chose to come. Why? Who is responsible for your pregnancy? Is the one. A married man. 
I'm trying to make him mine. And the wedding pictures. just a representation of what is to happen. You've lost your mind. You're obsessed with your neighbor's husband. This is an abomination. Jones, you are not going to tell me that nothing is going on. You cannot tell me that you know nothing about what happened out there. You're going to tell me nothing but the truth. What was that that happened outside? What's that about? I'm as clueless as you are. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm crazy now. You don't know. You don't know, Jones. A strange man comes to my home. Because my husband has son in law. And you stand here and you look me in the eye and you tell me better that you don't know. How am I supposed to know? I have no clue. I have no idea. I, know, I, know, I don't know that woman. I've never met her before. I don't know what she's talking about. I, I don't know. Bullshit. What do you want me to tell you? This is bullshit. There you go. Just believing that I was having an affair. Behind your back. Let me catch you. Don't even pull that cat, that's different. Ama, this is worse. Really? Yes, it is. Working? I can't. Don't do that. I'm not done. I'm not done. Just, I am not done. I'm sorry, I can't do this right now. You can't, right? I see. Oh, God. No wonder. You're insisting that we travel. You're trying to take me away from my home because you knew that your wife, your secret wife, was coming into my home with her family. That's why you've been trying to rush me. I don't know you. Because my daughter, what has possessed you? How can you tell your own mother like a criminal? This is not good. You are not well. <laughs> I will never hurt you, Mom, as long as you don't get in my way. I want you to remain here, restrain, while I go and fix what I have to fix once and for all. <sighs> and don't even bother to scream or slow me. Really, you need to stop. You really need to stop. It's enough now. I, you've been it's yelling. not enough. You need to call your mistress. You need to bring her here and let her understand that this is my home. What mistress? I, I have told you, there's no one. Lies! Saying, how did you get into my house? 
I locked that door. How the hell did you enter my house? You have got to be kidding me. I have my ways. Especially when it has to do with my house. <laughs> Excuse me? Just... You need to leave my house now, else I will call the security. What is this? What is going on, Jones? What is this? That I'm pregnant for you and married to you. Isn't that the sole reason I moved to this estate? To be close to you? What is she saying? What is she saying? Baby, what is she saying? Don't tell me that you believe what this lunatic is feeling. She's, she's talking rubbish. What I don't is know she what she's saying. Talking. Hey, hey, what get out of the house. Get out. Why are you being scared of being found out? That night you made love to me. You told me you loved me. And that your wife is spineless and boring in bed. What have you done? Just! What? You done! Oh God, oh God, please have mercy, mercy for me. I overlooked my daughter's mental health condition, oh God. She has been erratic, but now she has got it worse. Have mercy. Don't allow her to harm anyone. And may she not harm herself also, God. I may say, hear my cry. I may cry, oh God. I... <sighs> you have done enough harm. You need to leave my house now. Look at you. You've got a sleep. Pain. This woman. Please, I beg you. I beg you. Do not ever, just don't call me that name again. Don't you ever try it again. But it's all lies. It's, it's all lies. It's, it's all lies. Oh, I saw the videos. I saw you. I saw you back in there. I saw the videos. Hear me out first. Hear me out. Wait, it was it was that that once. It was just once. It was it was once. Believe me, it was once. The the pictures she's showing you, it's doctored. This lady is sick, baby. Trust me, she's sick. Can you say the truth? I don't care what she believes. Oh, my dear friend. You have been done right. It's okay. You can have me. It's all yours. <laughs> Finally. She concedes. See, nah. I was never in war with you. Never. You were fighting yourself all along, just by yourself, pretending to be my friend. And yet, you were sleeping with my, this man. What is it you want from me? What? I have no connection with you, I don't know you from Adam. Oh yes you do. That night you made love to me. 
You entered into a path unknowingly, and that path is for eternity. God forbid! I... Do you think you can use me and dump me just like the others? No way! I want you to get rid of her. While you and I continue in our holy matrimony. Are you going to do hey, it hey. now? You want me to send a six feet on them? Are you serious? Are you serious? What do you even want? What do you want from us? Oh, you, you just want me, don't you want me to get it, do you? I want me to pay you. I can give you money. I can give you a house. I can give you a car. I can buy you. What do you want? You don't get it, do you? Do you think I came this far just to come this far? <laughs> do you know why I killed my ex? <laughs> I painted so many scenarios in my head, superimposing myself to be Betty. <laughs> oh, it was such a beautiful ride. Whilst following you everywhere, digging deep about you both. While I took my pictures and yours together as man and wife and being a tech guru, it was no fit for me. I manage the account of top celebrities and work as a ghost writer. What can I not do? <laughs> we were joined as husband and wife. Isn't that just beautiful? It was you who made me lose my pregnancy. Shut up! What do you think was behind those pictures of you online? And those comments? <laughs> oh yes. With help from one of your exes, Shegu, he helped me with those pictures. An actual account. 
But that was little. I needed to take the bull by the horn. And that is what I am doing now. <laughs> Amazing how much I know. <laughs> I should be an investigative journalist. Huh. You're a psycho. The devil's born. That's what you are. Um, Zane. I'm not even sure that's your real name. Whatever it is, um, not, a, not that we're really sure you need help. Mm. It would be nice that you take my advice to get professional help. All right? Give me the knife. The only help I need now is to get this wife of yours out of the picture. A time has elapsed. You'd have to kill me first. Such a pathetic loser. Your time is up. I want you out of my husband's life. Now! Kill me first! myself as husband and wife to have and to hold say it I, I, I join you to me as also husband and wife to have and to hold in sickness and in health in, in sickness and in health freeze this is the police drop the knife very slowly drop it Miss Ngozi, Zane, Stephanie, Nico, whatever the name is called. We have really missed you. And we've been looking everywhere for you. Officer, take her away. Take her away now. Move it. I shall be back. Move it. And you will be mine whether you like it or not. Get out. It's okay. Detective, thank oh, you so much. Oh. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sir. That young lady is a special and eccentric one. Just like a chameleon, she keeps changing her names. Today, June. Tomorrow, April. The other time, Karen, Stephanie, or what have you. Her case is a similar case like a disassociate identity disorder, also known as a multiple personality disorder. She has been with four different men on four different occasions. We did extensive research on her case and her condition. We are not sure what is the trigger for her condition, but we find out that she once had an accident where she fell and hit her head. And research suggests ever since then, she has never been stable and has a ghost effect, always disappearing and reappearing. As if stalking her targeted people wasn't enough, Zane goes ahead to marry a preferred choice of men in her head and will go on to believe her lies that they are her husbands. Going by this, 
she's been married thrice and the most interesting thing about this is the men she supposedly married to are unaware permit me to say that you are supposedly her latest husband damn so creepy so what about her pregnancy oh that one that's a moon bomb wait what That's just as much as um, we found out. So literally, she's a danger to anybody around her. She needs to be confounded so that she can get all the necessary help that she needs. <sighs> um, Detective Jerry, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for coming at the time you did. I mean, I can't even imagine what would have happened if you got here a minute later than when you did. You wait off your friend here, Ify. Thank you. Ify, thank you. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. It's all right. Ah. It's all right, man. It's all right. You know uh, we were supposed to meet and you did not show up. So I kept on calling your line. There was no response. No messages left to. So I decided to drop by your place and uh, check if everything was all right with you. Uh, I heard strange sounds in. I decided to eavesdrop. And I discovered that both of you were held hostage. So I swung into action immediately. When I got to the station, I explained the scenario to them and they were so sure that the same lady they've been looking for mm. is the same lady I was talking about. You know, her, her pattern of operation gave her away. And that is how we, we came over here and voila. What a day. Sorry for everything. Betty, I love you. I love you so, so much. And nothing can change that. No woman, 
no business, nothing. I know that I, I have made a lot of mistakes, especially in these past weeks. I'm sorry. I really am. In fact, the events of this past weeks has helped me realize how special, how special you are to me. I'm sorry. I'm never letting you leave my sight and I'm assuring you that it will never happen again. Without you. 